Hey everyone, welcome back to another video with Blue Moon Life. We've been gone for a while, kind of on and off, so it feels really good to be back here for the new year. Today we're doing kind of a sit down and chat video. We haven't done one of these for a while, but coming into the new year, we kind of want to talk about where we've been, where we're at now, and, and where we want to take this channel. We've been doing a lot of reflecting as 2023 ended and coming into 2024 and we want to share those thoughts with you today. We'll start by talking a bit about where we've been. Regular viewers of this channel will notice we've taken a bit of a hiatus from our regular posting schedule of putting out three to four videos a month. We've been off grid there for about eight weeks and this reduction in posting was really for two reasons. The first was that at the end of 2024 both Jill and I were finishing off some pretty big projects outside of YouTube in our regular work lives. Jillian was finishing a intensive study and licensing program that ended right at the end of the year. And I was transitioning out of one full-time job into a new job that has on-call requirements. So just getting up to speed on that. The second reason is that we took a break over the holidays to spend some quality time with friends and family. Between travel, visiting, and celebrations, we weren't able to keep up. So we shifted our focus away from, from doing YouTube. So that brings us to where we are now. As we're filming this, it's early January 2024, and we were coming into the new year in a place of transition, both with our YouTube channel and also with our personal lives and our professional lives. Jonas is beginning a job that will require um, a more dynamic schedule. He'll be on call, he'll have sort of varying shifts. My work will be more ad hoc and I'll be working kind of as and when so I'll have some slow periods and I'll also have times where I'm really busy. Yeah much more dynamic schedule for both of us than we're used to and so we're gonna we're coming into the new year trying to figure out how to combine those two schedules while also making room for things like filming and, and deciding what kind of stories we want to tell on our channel. Because we have this new horizon of work ahead of us, it has also been a, a time for reflection. This is our fourth year living aboard the sailboat and it's our third year posting content on YouTube. We still love living aboard as much as ever, uh, if not more than we used to, and we've become very accustomed to the rhythms and requirements of living this way. We find it matches up really well with our with our personal and, and our work lives. We have over 150 videos on the channel and regular viewers will know that our videos tend to follow a fairly low-key seasonal rhythm across the year. Often that looks like filming our sort of annual sailing trips to and fro, whether we're here on the docks or off-grid on the morning ball. In between those times, our videos tend to be very quiet. They follow the day-to-day goings-on of our life and sometimes our work here. That pace of life and also of filming has really allowed us to settle for better or for worse on a on a specific style here on YouTube which is on the slower side. We're not necessarily sharing huge giant adventures and as much as we have goals and plans to uh, take this boat and maybe other sailboats into the far beyond, at this point in our life most of our stories about us would center around our day-to-day -day life. So we've been talking over the last few months and we've arrived at a decision and we feel that we've made all the videos about us that we want to and that we've captured the essence of living this way and we feel that we don't have any more stories or anything else left to share that would be different than what we've already shared here. Certainly if we have any grand adventures planned then we would be very interested in capturing those and continuing to tell those new stories that we're making. Looking across our plans for 2024, it's going to be a very busy year outside of YouTube. We have a lot of work projects and personal projects we have to accomplish. And because of that, it's unlikely that we're going to be making any large shifts or changes or planning any huge adventures. There are a couple things uh, we have on the docket for 2024, especially later in the year that we'll look forward to sharing. But for the most part, we're going to be trying to get into a flow of our base work and in many ways that's going to consume a lot of our attention especially mine and all of that together brings us to where we want to go with this channel in 2024. After three years of learning how to plan, edit, 
film, and publish videos, we want to shift our focus towards the stories and ideas of other people. Instead of keeping ourselves as the subjects at the center of these Blue Moon Life videos, we want to explore how we can share and amplify the ways of living, the experiences, the teachings, uh, the ideas, aspirations, and enterprises of other people. We love the idea of turning the camera around. You will all know that I tend to avoid being in front of the camera anyway. Uh, partnering with people who are like-minded to us, who, who have similar values and ideas and goals, and using this platform that we've cultivated in some ways by accident, especially our very kind and supportive audience, and directing attention, your attention as our audience, beyond us, out to a community of people, whether that's local or far, who have lots of interesting things to say and, and do. As some examples of this, uh, we draw inspiration from channels like Exploring Alternatives. We met them years ago, actually, and they made a segment about us. Channels like Florb, Floating Orb Productions. He's a really cool guy. He travels around and talks to people living in all sorts of different ways. Uh, channels like Green Renaissance or Humans of New York that share stories of humans and people that they meet along the way. Stories that they think have uh, wisdom and grace and meaning to share with other people. And for example, on the music side, I've followed a channel called Gems on VHS, uh, which for years has traveled all around the world, but especially in the southeastern United States, sharing the music of people who may not have a platform themselves. Beyond just the content of our videos, we'd also like to shift our focus towards longer term, more collaborative work. Jill and I are lucky that when we're vlogging, we just have either one or two people to coordinate. Uh, it's easier to do the scheduling, and that allows us to sort of muck around and we can put out three or four videos in a month without much fuss. And we recognize that if we were to work with other people, uh, there's gonna be a lot more scheduling, brainstorming, uh, collaboration to do. And we anticipate that if we make this shift, Blue Moon Life might look like a channel that puts out maybe one video a month or one to two videos that have some new characters and some more depth and, and time put into them. As opposed to when Jill and I are just hanging out on the boat filming ourselves. So think about where we are now and where we'd like to go. That's when you, our audience, comes in. We want to take this time to ask you a few questions and gather your feedback. We're grateful to our audience, especially our patrons who have been keeping us going for so long. Really, you are the the motivators behind us continuing to produce these videos and that's why your opinion is so valuable to us and why we want to hear from you as we're making this transition. It's certainly not going to be an abrupt transition by any means but we are using the beginning of the year to to make this transition and and see what you think and what you'd like to see out of this channel. With that we have some questions to ask you. If you have thoughts you'd like to share please do so in the comment section or by sending us an email at svbluemoon.business at gmail.com. We'll put our email in the description. Really reach out to us however you like. Uh, the comment section especially we love to read through and there's no obligation of course to answer these questions but we would truly love to know what you think before we do anything too crazy. So our first question is would you still enjoy watching Blue Moon Life videos if we weren't the main subjects? The answer to that can be no. If it is no then we'll, we'll take that into account. <laughs> The next question is, would you be interested in how we could share the, the stories of other people, both people who we may know and also people who we haven't met yet? Are there channels that inspire you or that you think we should check out that do this work well? I've mentioned a few already that, that we've been thinking about and that I think do a really amazing job uh, bringing to light the, the ideas and ways of livings of other people. So if you have any recommendations for uh, things we should check out as waypoints or or examples of how this work is done well, please let us know. And one really important question is, are you or someone that you know interested in partnering with us um, who lives in southern British Columbia and would be interested in helping us make this transition? If you've been a viewer of this channel, you know our style, you know the way we cut videos together and the types of creative choices that that Jillian makes. We anticipate that that's not going to match up with everyone. The next few months we're going to be in a stage of exploration. If you do have stories or ideas that you want to share that you think would align with our style and the way we make videos on Blue Moon Life, we would be very interested to hear that. Are you trying to accomplish something in your personal life or your organization or your business that you think we could help with by bringing our perspective, 
our equipment, our time and attention. Years ago when Exploring Alternatives came and worked with us, that was a huge boost for our channel and it meant a lot that they would come and work with us and meet with us. And although we're still quite a small channel, we are really looking forward to possibly having opportunities to collaborate in similar ways in the future and, and we're really excited about that. And we would genuinely love to hear from people who have goals or things that they want to do that you think would harmonize well with our previous work or where you think we might be able to grow and learn together. We tend to be pretty bad at watching the email and the comment section, but our attention will be tuned to it mm -hmm. and we look forward to hearing from you. As you can probably tell, we don't have a crystallized, super structured plan. Part of the reason we're reaching out to our audience right now is because we think we could benefit from help in deciding where we can take the channel. Thank you so much again to everyone who's watching, whether you're new or you've been with us from the beginning. You are what helps keep this channel afloat, and particularly our patrons who have stood by us time and time again when we just can't get that video out that week. We've received so much support and we really do love chatting with everyone. We're really excited for 2024 and what may come. and. And we're excited to take you along with us on this transition and, and are really looking forward to hearing your feedback. And if for some reason you just want us to keep making videos of putting up tarps and pouring coffee, then we got you covered. We can yep, keep doing that. We can do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks again to everyone now and over the past three years for all your support. Thanks for watching this video and thanks in advance for any thoughts, ideas, concerns, or questions you have for us in the weeks and months to come.